from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And uh, I am blown away. You know, there's a reason that straight young women in the United States don't ever want to be labeled as feminists. And I think this story will give you an idea of why. Ask yes, just about any young woman. She would want to be <laughs> considered to be a feminist. If you go on a date, ask a woman, by the way, are you a feminist? See how many say yes. Here's why they don't. Dateline University Park, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania State University Feminist Majority Leadership Alliance Advisor, Spring Cooper thinks the following. Now listen to what Spring thinks. Only when students are cognizant enough to tackle a Rubik's Cube are they capable of having sex. By the way, <laughs> whether you're horny or not, have you ever been able to do the Rubik's Cube? And by the way, isn't the Rubik's Cube from like 20 years ago? 25 years ago? Cooper said, wait until you can do the puzzle. Then you're safe to have sex. Well, that sure is a turn on. <laughs> there you are. All warmed up and ready to go. And you go, wait a minute. Give me the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> until I figure out the Rubik's Cube, I can't do this. Says here, starting this weekend, FMLA, that's the Feminist Majority Leadership Alliance, an on-campus organization that works to develop strategies and programs to, quote, advance women's equality, will distribute Rubik's Cubes, among other puzzles and toys, in an effort to promote awareness about safer sex. The campaign called Sober Sex is Safer Sex is funded by a mini-grant from the Penn State Commission for Substance Abuse Prevention and will run for several weeks to raise awareness about safer sex, Cooper said. The toys will have messages attached to them about practicing safe sex while sober. The idea behind the toys is that people need cognitive processing skills to solve the puzzles, Cooper said. <laughs> Jesus. Now, think about this. You don't want to be having sober sex. <laughs> How do you get a chick to have sex unless she's been drinking? Women need plausible deniability. That is why bars are so popular. That is why tequila is ragingly hot. That is why Jägermeister is selling off the charts. American women need plausible deniability. That's what Oliver North used to call it, plausible deniability. American women need to be able to say, well, I had no intention of having sex, you know. I went to the bar, and I met this guy, and he was there, and we were talking, and he bought me a drink. And we were talking some more, you know, and then he bought me another drink, and we were, like, having a conversation, you know, and he was a pretty guy, nice guy, pretty hot, you know. And then he bought me another drink. And suddenly I feel kind of woozy. You know, I tried to go to the little girl's room, and I was kind of staggering all over the place, and I could barely make it back there. So he told me, why don't you come back to my place only a few blocks away? So I went with him, and I was just going to lay down on the couch. 
So I get to the place, and I'm about to lay down on the couch. He says, well, you come in here. I've got this big bed. i got all the space here. I'm thinking, well, okay. And, you know, so I went and I laid down in his bed. You know, but I didn't take my clothes off. I was just laying down in his bed. And one thing led to another, and, uh, well, here I am wearing the same clothes I was wearing yesterday. That's how women are. You rarely hear a woman of any age, any age, say, okay, I was horny. So what I did was I went down to the bar because, you know what, I hadn't had any in weeks, and I needed to get some. So I got down there, and I found this guy. He was 6'4". He was built like a tank, and I said, hey, pal, I need to get late. So let's skip uh, all the pleasantries. Let's skip you buying me a drink. Why don't we go back to your place and I'll ride you like a pony? But don't say that. Well, I had one too many Long Island iced teas and one thing led to another. That, that's how women have sex. If women didn't drink, there would be no sex. Women would not meet strangers and hook up. The way to get women to hook up is to feed them copious amounts of alcohol. Alcohol is legal. It's easy, easily gotten. Nobody ever scolds you for having a drink in this country. I mean, come on, we all love to drink. We all love hoisting a few. We all do. Come on. Sober sex? Does anybody out there think sober sex is a good idea? Like this. Like 1 800 5 800 Tom. Like 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you so much for not having any children. Anytime, there. It's the Tom Likes Show. The Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Lauren on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Hello, Tom. Hello, Lauren. How are you? Do you care? I absolutely care. I'm doing great. Awesome. I just had to tell you that you could not be more right about what you said about the story about the girls. The night, the day after... Retelling the story, going to the bar, sounded like a story I heard last weekend. Really? Oh, yeah. You hear it all the time. All the time. I don't think that any girl can say she hasn't if she does, she's lying. <laughs> yeah, but how often do you hear a girl say, well, I was horny, so I went to the bar and I said, uh, hey, how about you? Let's go. Not very often, but we need to start doing that. What is it with buying me a drink? Forget that. Let's just go back to your place. I want to want to get on top and just ride you hard. That's right. Now, and the only thing I know about sober sex is the morning after. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. You're awesome. I love you. Thank you, Lauren. Blow me up. Here you go, baby. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Adam on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, Tommy. Hello, Adam. How are you doing, buddy? Great. Good. Um, I kind of wanted to bring up the topic that you were talking about drinking. And, uh, see, I stopped drinking a couple years ago, and I haven't, you know, because I used to drink heavily. And I did do what you were talking about, you know, uh, as far as going to the bars, getting buzzed and horny and all that. But now that I stopped drinking and, you know, I'm married and stuff, I, I don't see that I need that. I don't need to be buzzed to, to be intimate with my I'm wife. I'm not saying you need to be buzzed. Yeah, you, when you meet a chick, she needs to be buzzed. Well, she doesn't need to be buzzed. Uh, well, you're married to her now, so you don't have to talk her into anything. Do you understand? Well, this is not a comment about marriage. This is a comment about going to bars. I'll bet you don't even go to bars with your wife. I do. You do a sports bar, something like that. You don't go to hookup bars with her. We 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 frequently, uh, probably once or twice a week, go to a, a strip club. All right. Well, uh, you see, I'm talking about people who are dating. I see. People who are out there looking to get laid. I see. All well, right. Then- I mean, yeah, sure. If you've been married ten, fifteen years, I'm sure you don't have to get your wife drunk because <laughs> she's yeah. not going to have sex with you even if she's bought. Well, like always, I always agree with everything you say. 
Well, that's great. But you didn't think I was talking about 40-year-old guys who are married, did you? Uh, no, well, I did. I did. I what made you think of... that? <laughs> no, I kind of caught the back end of I mean, that. the story is about a college that's encouraging sober sex. Oh, God. And this is not uh, about 40-year-old guys who are married. Oh, God. This is in a college. The story was about a group at a college. It's Penn State University. Yeah, if I'm in a college, you got to get them buzz and bang away. Uh, that's what it's all about. Well, once you get married, you shouldn't have to get your wife drunk. And if you, if you have to get your wife drunk after you're married, you got big problems with that marriage that go beyond uh, drinking. Oh, well, yeah, you got that right, bud. But uh, even if you're, look, I'll tell you what, even if you're unmarried, uh, guys, it's not important for you to be drunk. It's important for her to be drunk. <laughs> and why would that be, Tom? <laughs> so you can get what you want. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, Tommy, can you take me out uh, old school and with a machine gun and a yell from Mexico? All right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Zach on the Tom like his show. Hello, Zach. Hello, Father. Hello, son. Uh, how you been? I've been great. All right. Well, I you said they're giving out Rubik's cubes to those people, right? Right. <laughs> you ever notice that the people who can solve those Rubik's cubes are the guys that don't get laid? <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's what alcohol is for, getting guys laid since 1886. That's exactly right. Can you blow me up, Tom? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We have an opening for international callers right now. If you're listening to us on the Internet and uh, you can't get through on the 800 number, use this number. It will get you through right now. Uh, the country code is 1. The area code, 323 and the number, 520-6211. All right, that's 1-323-520-6211. If you're calling from outside the United States, if you dial right now, I guarantee you'll get through no matter what country you're calling from, but you got to dial right now. Let's say hello here to Eddie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How uh, you doing? Doing great, Eddie. All right. Hey, I just wanted to call in and agree with you. Sex with women that are under the influence is way better than with girls that are sober. Of course. I, it, is, it is just totally, I'm in total agreement with you. I, I went out to this club once, got this girl drunk. Well, not drunk, but, you know, I got her a little happy, took her back somewhere, handled my business. And um, you know what? It was, it was good times. I met up with her again. She wasn't uh, buzzed, and it just was not worth it. Well, I mean, uh, when chicks are, are not buzzed, have you ever been with a chick who says, uh, like, you're in the middle of, like, uh, trying to work that, and she says things like, what was that noise? Did you hear something? Yep. Oh, my God. It just kills the mood. Or they keep having to go to the bathroom. or this. <laughs> yeah, you, you need them to be all boozed up. You grease the skids. They're ready to go. Exactly, exactly. I just wanted to call in and and tell you I'm I'm a long time listener. My dad listens to you. My brother listens to you. Actually, my whole family of men listen in at three at three p.m. Sounds good to me, Eddie. All right, Tom. You take care. Uh, blow me up with a uh, Snoop Dogg ending, please. All right, Eddie. Here you go. Thanks a lot, Tom. Okay. Bitch. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Ramon on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Ramon. Hello, sir. Um, one thing that worries me about that strategy is what if the girl yells rape after getting her drunk and banging her? Well, it doesn't matter if she's drunk or sober. Yeah, that's the only thing because I hear it on the news quite often where you get your way with her and then the following morning she cries to rape. But that can happen yeah. whether or not she's drunk. That's true. Well... Oh, getting her drunk makes it easy anyway. Oh, okay. Getting her drunk increases the odds she won't remember what happened the night before. 
<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> can you take me out old school time? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. This is the first time that I have been able to get through, and I just want to tell you that everything that you say is so true about women nowadays, and... My husband has actually said that the best sex he's had with women is when they're completely drunk, so you're totally right. But I just wanted to tell you that I love you so much, and you make me laugh every day because you just talk it straight through the way things are. So I just want to say thank you for just being on the show. Well, thank you, Anna. I appreciate you're that. Welcome. So just have a wonderful day, and then if you could take me old school as well. You know I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Stephen on the Tom Liga Show. Hello. Tom. Stephen. How you doing? Great. I just wanted to say, you know, we need the chicks to get a few beers in them, but once we get a few beers in us, you know, it makes them more attractive, all right? <laughs> well, that's, uh, you see, I, I, I make it a point not to have sex with unattractive women. But it makes them attractive, though. Well, that my point is, if, yeah, but then, but think. then you wake up with coyote arm. Okay, uh, my goal is not to wake up with coyote arm. That's a good idea. Of course, one way to avoid that is not to sleep with them. You just have sex with them. That's true. <laughs> and get the hell out of there. That's Tom. Can you take me out with uh, client number nine. Client number nine. Here you go. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. How you doing? Great. Good. Uh, I got to call in and just say uh, I kind of disagree with the whole. I mean, I mean, if if a girl's drunk. She kind of is sloppy sometimes, and if she's not, and she's That's all right. you know what you're doing. I don't care if she's sloppy. <laughs> I understand that, but, I mean, if, if if you know what you're doing, you get the girl kind of going on, I mean, it, it's going to work out fine. Yeah, but the point is, you, you you never know how chicks are thinking. You never know what you're getting. You do know that if you get a chick all liquored up, she's going to do what you want her to do. And, and I, uh, that, that's true. But if you know what you're doing, you could do the same with the girl. Yeah, you know what, though? We're not talking. Everybody out there doesn't, as you say, know what they're doing. That's uh, that's true. This that's is true. one way to be guaranteed she's going to give you what you want. No, that's I, that's true. Then I mean, there are some guys that don't know what they're doing. I mean, I mean come on, admit it. Shit. You're trying to get women to do something they're going to regret the rest of their lives. They have to be drunk. <laughs> That, that's perfect, then. I mean, I agree with that. If There's nothing guy, I that's like better than being the guy. Oh, my God. I came home this morning. I don't even know what we did. I was with... <laughs> how about this one? I was with Tom Likas last night. Oh, God. I said I wouldn't let it happen. I said I would just gonna, like jerk his chain a little bit. I came home. I left my panties in it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> how about this, Tom? Take me out. Kobe Bryant style. Here you go, David. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Melinda on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. This discussion really disgusting and disturbing. Uh, that's only because we're doing it right. I just, I mean, you know, there, there's a there's a line that I realize you cross regularly, but this is this is abusive and. What line did I cross? The, the, what line did you cross? You what line did I cross with an L? This is not Elmer Fudd talking. What line did I cross? Decency on any level whatsoever. Oh, well, again, I need more specific than that. Intimacy is an agreement between two people, and it's not to say people don't have one-night stands. I'm not entirely naive. But to suggest that you have to get someone drunk, I mean, that's not okay. Well, uh, people do it all the time. 
What do you, what do you, what do you think ladies' night is? What do you think bars are all about? Come on. Do you really think that this is not what it's all about? Everyone works hard, and everyone wants to go to a bar sometimes at the end That's, of the week. No, the no, there are bars, darling. There are bars, cool. darling. There are bars, and there are bars. Uh, there are bars where you watch a football game. There are bars that are neighborhood hangouts where you, people's parents and grandparents come in. And there are bars where people go to hook up. Okay, well, you should be able to go to any bar, any woman should be able to go to any bar without the, the concern that someone's going to intentionally get her drunk. To Nobody can intend. Well, we're not talking about giving you roofies or uh, g- 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 uh, propping your mouth open and uh, shoving a liquor down you your can, gullet. We're you talking about. In any way you we like. are talking I'm about. We are. No, 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 but it's not. No, no, I will not let you. I will not let you categorize uh, what I'm saying as that. We are not talking about force feeding alcohol to anybody. These women are volunteering to consume the alcohol we buy. They're volunteering for it. And if they're volunteering for it, we're volunteering to pay for a couple of shots until we get them exactly the way we want them. And then they're going to come back and do what we want. You know, it's just, it's a consistent theme with you, and it's pretty funny sometimes, and it's outrageous and ridiculous and all those things. But this is really thoughtless. You can cloak it thoughtless. any way you want. Well, I'm not cloaking it any way. I mean, in fact, I'm not cloaking anything. I'm being very specific and very upfront about what we're doing. And I'm and my reaction to that personally is that it's gross. Well, then why do women go to bars? Why do men, Why does anyone go to a bar? You know, I mean, there's a lot. I'm going to tell you that the, the the reason people go well, but again, there's different kind of bars. There are certain bars that are made to go watch ESPN. There are certain bars that are made to go eat some chicken wings. There are certain bars where you go to have fish and chips on a Sunday afternoon. And then there are bars where you don't go until 1030 at night where there's a dance floor and a DJ and it's a $25 cover charge. And, and, and you go there and you buy drinks for people with the express purpose of getting them liquored up so you can have sex with them. Don't be naive. That's what these clubs are. First of all, there's no discussion as to whether or not people go to bars to look. You know, they they go to they bars to get, they go to this kind of bar to get laid. That's what they go for. That's a different discussion. What you're discussing no, it's is not. getting a girl wasted enough so you can have sex with her. Well, I, I, what, by the way, it involves her. It involves her cooperation. It involves her cooperation. It only involves her cooperation if she's drunk. What you've said. No, it involves her cooperation to get drunk. It involves her cooperation to get drunk. Okay, but the sex part doesn't involve her cooperation. Any woman, come on, how stupid do you think women are? They go to a bar and a man starts buying them drinks and they're too stupid to know why he's buying them drinks? Okay, look, let me just bottom line it. The only reason, the only reason a stranger would ever buy you a drink is to get your panties off. Don't flatter yourself about how interesting, don't, don't flatter yourself about what an interesting conversationalist you are or how intelligent you are. The reason a stranger buys you drinks is to get your clothes off. That is the one and only reason men do that. That's the one and only reason why men do it. By the way, if men just bought people drinks as a matter of having good conversation, they buy drinks for men, too. <laughs> I'm not saying people don't buy women drinks because they want... No, that is the one and only reason men buy you a drink. That is the one and only... Re- Hang on a second. Emily, am I wrong about this? No. All right. Well, you know... Emily, I- Emily, I- knows, I- Emily knows the truth. No, you're not wrong about it because because uh, their women take advantage of the fact that they are women and that guys want to be guys go to a bar, get them drunk, and try to have sex, and then they fire away. No, they want to have sex. Right. You're telling me that there hasn't been. It, it has nothing but idiots listening to it, and I'm done. Please. Oh, Melinda, don't don't do uh, say. Tell it. Me, you should have more please? faith in yourself than that, darling. Don't tell me that whenever you're drunk, you don't want to have sex. You just want to lay on the couch like a dumbass and watch TV. Uh, she she hung up. She's going to teach us a lesson. Only <laughs> idiots. By the way, only idiots listen to this show. And I say, wherever you are, Melinda, you should really have much higher self esteem than that. Well, if you don't, if she doesn't like it, she can change the channel. It's not very hard. And she didn't have to call in either.
Yeah, exactly. but but I guess because only idiots listen to this show, I guess she felt compelled to call. Completely true, Tom. I completely agree with you. Thank you, Emily. No problem. What you're saying is actually completely true. So I completely agree with everything you're saying. And there, you know, when a when a woman drinks, she knows where it's headed. She's not that stupid. That's why women go to bars for Christ's sake. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was in the shower, and I got out of the shower, and my wife was checking my cell phone. And I swear to God, for like the last week, every day I get home, she's like, What, what number was this? What number was that? Who's this? Who's that? She's like, who is, who is Kim? I feel like telling her, hey, bitch, Kim's the girl I'm banging behind your back. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yeah, from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. A group of feminists at Penn State University thinks students should only have sex when they're cognizant enough to tackle a Rubik's Cube. They say if you can do the Rubik's Cube, okay, it's okay to have sex. No boozing and sexing. you got to be kidding me. Vika. On the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. I'm stoked to be on your show. Oh, I love that. I love your show. It turns me on. Actually, I'm driving, and I finally am a professional. And uh, I'm a lady, too. I don't fall under that hoary criteria, but I love to be a whore in bed. Anyway. Really? And, uh, oh, you're no- yeah. and your number again is what? I'm sorry? Your number again. Uh, what was your phone number? Oh, I'll tell you that later. Really? <laughs> anyway, the reason that. for my call was because, yes, it's true. Women, like my grandfather said, are like boats. They go through the ocean and never talk about what they really do. <laughs> Women do get drunk, and they do know what's up. Come on, where's your sense? And we love it. We get horny with alcohol. It's true. We just want to get laid. You know, I'm from Spain, so... That's the way it is. But we tell it like it is. These American girls just put it under the rug and they say, oh, my God, I do know what I do. Well, I have hell of a fun when I drink. And wow. That's the, way it is. that's the truth. And um, I always say women are worse than men. We can lie. I mean, big time and set men up. <laughs> I try to stay away, but who calls and say, hey, this is what we really are, and you guys talk about it? Not everybody, of course, but we all have our share through life. I'm 32 years old. I picked the man that I have the best sex with. So it happens he's handsome, but that's the truth. Mm-hmm. I love to go home and drink. I went to a grocery store. I went to buy my bottle of wine. And I'm going to get it on. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Very nice. And that number again is what? The guy has it. <laughs> I can't give it out. <laughs> Just to me. <laughs> Maybe later. You know, that would really turn me on. Oh, my God. I had Tom Likas. Wow. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't matter what it looks like. As long as sex is sex, it's all good. I'm all about that, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, hi. Hi. I'm so happy to talk to you. I love you. Thank you. I'm sure you never hear that, of course. Never. I just wanted to call in about the reason guys go out to bars. Ladies, it's true. They go out to get you drunk and get in your panties. I know this, not because I'm the one that gets drunk. I'm usually the driver for all my friends. But I have pissed off so many guys trying to buy me a drink. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll have a drink. I'll get a lime and tonic water. Thank you. You're so sweet. (laughs) And they get mad. They throw money on the bar and walk away. They... It's really hilarious, actually. It's like, yeah, no, sorry. I'm not the one, but my friend's right over here. Go for it. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of amusing. And honestly, it's more hilarious to watch my friends get drunk and have the whole thing just blossom. And then I wind up usually only having to drive one of my four friends home after the end of the night because they're off with someone else. But, yeah. 
any girl that thinks guys are there for any other reason is in for a rude awakening. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Wow. So, that's about it, Tom. I just wanted to call and say I love you. Thank you, Aaron. Can you take me out with a screaming orgasm? I certainly can. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tiffany on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Hi, wow. Hi, it's wow. Nice you. Ooh, wee, yes. You know, these women are so delusional. I mean, not the ones calling in that are being honest, but the ones that think this is disgusting. Why do we spend all that time doing our hair, putting on makeup, just to attract them to get the drinks? We're not yeah, stupid. Tart, we know tart tart yourself up. You just tartan yourself up to go out to a bar. Precisely. So yeah, you, know? you tart yourself up so you can go to the bar, the guy buys you, you drinks, right. and then you can say, I wasn't planning on doing anything, and one thing led to another. Because women can't just say, yeah, you know what? Uh, I unbuttoned a few buttons. I went down to the local bar, and I said to the first guy, so I said, you'll do. Let's go. That's how it works, right? Well, it doesn't work that way in this country, and that's the thing. Women women want to be able to say, I was in the bar, and we had a few drinks. This guy bought me a couple of drinks, and I was too drunk to drive. Us, and he not said, all of us. I didn't say all of you. I did, there's exceptions to every rule. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, very true. But, very yeah, true. I'll tell you what, in Europe, women are completely different. They're not like this. No, you're right. They're not. They're very true. upfront, they're and if they right. like you, they will come tell you, and then they're off to the races, and there's none, none of this nonsense. But in this country, women have to pretend to be little virgins. They have to pretend to be good girls. I wouldn't have done it except I got drunk. That's just baloney. But you know baloney. most women are like that, right? Unfortunately, you're right. So that's why we have to buy them drinks? Some of us, yeah. Most of you. Some of us, no. Not some of you. Most of you. A majority, yes. A, a vast majority. You're right. Right. Yes, you are right. In the 90 percentile. Oh, most definitely, if not higher. All right. So don't be, don't be with this many, some, a few, a couple, uh-uh. Oh, yeah, no, it's most. It's a majority. That's right. right. That's right. Well, sure, Tiffany, uh, you're, you're damn straight. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, um, you know what, Tom? There's girls out there that go to the bar just so they can get free drinks. You know what I mean? So they can get free drinks, and then they're willing to pay for them uh, by uh, getting on their back. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes they, they see a, a guy they know that has money, and he's kind of desperate, you know, and they'll probably work them for a few drinks and then probably go home with somebody else they like later on. I think you're probably right. Hey, Tom, you know, me and uh, two of my buddies, uh, my buddy took a, a girl home uh, one night and she got drunk and uh, we all, all three of us ended up uh, banging her. <laughs> and uh, did she object later on or what happened? No, she was all for it. And uh, we all kind of picked which spot we wanted to go to because, you know, there was three of us and she has uh, three areas. So uh, we did our thing. So she just needed a few drinks and that was it. Yeah, that was it. A couple of tequila shots and uh, she was all good. I love that. So, uh, hey, uh, Tom, I want to dedicate this outro to that one girl that was giving you a hard time and to that girl that uh, we... Uh, me and my three friends banged. Uh, can you take me out Snoop Dogg style? Here you go, Mike. Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's L on the top. Like your show. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Love your time. show. I listen all the time. <laughs> I felt it was kind of a rolling motion there. Did you feel the earthquake? It was what? kind of a rolling motion. The jelly jars in my cabinet were rattling. Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> you're you're talking about chicks getting wasted and using it as an excuse. And yes. That's pretty much how I grew up. My older sister is an older <laughs> gang, and thank God for it because I never turned out to be one. But one of the best times ever was she called. She had been missing, couldn't find her. Where I live in Orange County, got to a party with girlfriends, and I get a phone call like 
7 in the morning, and I'm like, where the hell are you? And she's like, I don't know. I'm next to a pink refrigerator. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. That's exactly right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Hello, Larry Elder. I just want to say I love your show. You know, for a black man, you're very articulate. I hate when people call like that. So small-minded. 1-800-5800. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Can you tell I'm having fun in here? I am. Here inside your radio. <laughs> One day I'm coming out. I'm telling you. I'm going to bust that little speaker wide open. I'm coming out. I'm going to sit next to you. You feel all safe now, but uh, look at that speaker. It's chintzy. My fist will go right through that little screen. I'm just going to, I'm going to jump right out and sit in the passenger seat. Then I'll sit there, I'll just start hitting the scan button on the radio. Hello, is this Michael Savage? I love when you attack the blacks. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> Will you be attacking the gays this hour, Michael? I love when you do that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello to uh, d- James on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you, bud? I'm doing okay, James. Hey, quick question. About twenty minutes ago, I uh, thought I heard you say something about when you get a drunk girl home and she's sleeping in your bed, and the next morning, I I, I thought you were my dad. I, you taught me better than having a, a drunk girl. Oh no, no, no! I don't. <laughs> I don't have drunk girls in my house. And and the reason I don't have drunk girls in my house is because that means I have to deal with them later on. Exactly. Uh, no, I, I want to go to their house. Yeah, exactly. I was trying, I was just, you said something about laying in bed with... Uh, well, if you're laying in bed, it doesn't mean it's your bed. No, you said that. You said when, she, when you wake up in the morning and you're girl next to you. I, uh, I didn't know. Maybe I misunderstood. Yeah, but that could very well mean you were at her place. Okay. All right. And by the way, I don't recommend staying overnight. I just know that many people do. Yeah. Yeah. When you meet a girl at the bar, it's, you know, like you said, you get drunk. You just want to bang her out. You know what I mean? If That's you can get it, if you, look, if you can knock one out in the parking lot and then get the hell out of there, I'm all in favor. Exactly, Tom. I mean, that's 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 what I wanted to know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. You don't want to bring chicks home. You don't want them knowing where you live. My God, what happens if you knock one up? You don't want to know where you are. Exactly, you know, you, especially a girl you meet at a bar you, you get drunk with, you you know, usually those are the girls that have the issues. Right. So, all right, Tom, thank you, bud. Pick me out with a bong coke. Here you go. <coughs> Nelson on the Tom Like Your Show, hello. Tom, how's it going? Going great. Well, man, I just wanted to say that all these women that are, well, not all of them, but the ones that are calling in saying that, you know, what that's, this isn't the way to go. It's like, why else do, are we going to end up going to a bar on a Friday, Saturday night, you know? Yeah, like, because, like, because we like spending $14 for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I, I was actually having an idea. We should probably get Like Us 101 on, like, LA Unified School District and start teaching them early. so that Absolutely. You know, so that that way it turns into like how it is in Europe, man, because here they're all like shy about, you know what, you know, I'm just like wanting to go out and have a good time. If that's what they wanted to do, just pick up like a 12 pack and stay home and listen to like ABBA records or something, you know. But yeah, man, I just wanted to throw in my two cents there. Uh, could you take me out on number nine? I can. Here you go. Number nine. The remorse I feel will always be with me. From those to whom much is given, much is expected. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.